another edition of A Preacher and His Work. We have so many great gospel preachers across our country and around the world, and this is our way of helping you get to know them just a little bit better. We're coming to you from Polishing the Pulpit, which is a great work, and it's a, it's a great time to come together as, as brothers and sisters and to build new relationships, and we are thankful to have Alan Knight with us. Alan, I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you today. It's a blessing to be here today. Uh, what congregation are you currently working with? I'm um, actually at the Center Road Church of Christ in Saginaw, Michigan. Well, Saginaw, Michigan? Yes, sir. Well, how long have you been there? Uh, I've been there since December of 2015. Um, it's been a pretty awesome time. And how long have you been in ministry total? Well, I've been doing some form of preaching since I was 16, and that was 2007. So, but I've been full-time minister since 2011 when I graduated from my preaching school. All right. Well, we're thankful uh, with what you're doing. We're thankful you're up in Michigan and you're working hard and. What motivated you to, to get into ministry? There's always a lot of motivating factors. Um, I actually originally wanted to play in the NFL, but as you can probably guess how that worked out, I found somehow that there's something better out there. Um, honestly, uh, our youth leader, John Allen, and his ways in Christ, he always uh, motivated us and pushed us to be fully committed in our lives to Christ as opposed to the world. And I found that the best way for me to be committed to Christ is involve myself in ministry and one thing led to another and I just kind of realized one day forget football uh, I want to be a preacher. Well, I'm glad you made that decision. Me too. <laughs> uh, when you look at your work as a minister as you, and as in with your time in the pulpit when you look at the community you're working with up mm -hmm. in Michigan when you look at our world if if there is just one message that you could share with the world, what would that one message be? Well, in my personal experience, I would say that reading Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, uh, do not be deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever man sows, he shall reap, has just always been true. I find people that when they give themselves wholly to God, things always eventually turn out for the best. And when people only halfway give to God or less than that, and they act surprised or disappointed about what life has to offer them, it's baffling to me because God has clearly shown us that if you give Him everything you have, He'll gladly do everything He can for you, where if you only give a little bit for God, don't be surprised if the drama and the difficulties of life are just overwhelming. And so I would say give God everything and watch how well things turn out. Well, you look at the the greatest command it's to love God with everything that we absolutely have and you know when we do things God's way things always work out for the best absolutely Alan I appreciate your time hey thank you appreciate you being with us I appreciate you being with us I look forward to being with you next time on a preacher and his word the, glory, the preceding program was a production of the Fort Payne Church of Christ TV studio located in Fort Payne Alabama